So I'm gonna show what I bought in Egypt, in Cairo. Uh, I didn't buy a lot of things because when I went to Egypt I was there for wedding, I was there as a bridesmaid and it wasn't like I didn't have planned to buy a lot of things when I went there. But I will show the few things that I picked up. Also I was kind of restricted because I had a cabin suitcase and I honestly was not planning on buying a lot of things. But I will show some of the stuff that I feel is sort of, um, you know, representing the trip to Egypt and also what I basically bought. So first and foremost, I will start off with the most like mainstream thing I think of this sort of haul and that is that I bought a nail polish and this one is Makeup Forever uh, Professional. Now this one was really inexpensive so I'm not sure if this is the real deal but uh, I need to do my nails because they started to fade so I need to reuse this one but this is what I was wearing on the wedding and on some parties that I went to so yeah, I really like the color, one of my favorites. Another favorite of Egypt is actually that I did henna, black henna, not the orange one that you find in Dubai a lot, but the black henna and it has almost faded. I did it on uh, one pre-wedding party that we had. So I did uh, like some flower decoration on the hand, but it has completely almost vanished. Uh, I didn't buy black henna, I almost was about to do that because I think they're selling it inside of the supermarket but I thought that, you know, I'm not gonna, gonna start buying it because it's just gonna be a mess uh, in the suitcase potentially. Another thing that is not something that I purchased actually but something that I had kind of fun with is this uh, uh, dictionary, Arabic dictionary. So sometimes when we were seating in a car, the traffic in Cairo is kind of hectic. So uh, I had some fun actually flipping through this one now and then and sort of, you know, focusing my brain on something else than the traffic and practicing some Arabic words. And also I was using this one, uh, not in some real scenarios because I had such you know, I had friends and stuff around me who could translate if there was anything. But I did use this one now and then because not everyone speaks English who I was communicating with. So I did use this one. Uh, tea. I did buy tea uh, and I took the smallest size tea uh, boxes that I found. So I really, because I tried some hibiscus juice which was freshly made by... Uh, by someone that we were having dinner at and so I bought some hibiscus tea uh, as you can see it has the English text here this one I had actually purchased some I think it's from Lipton or something it's like an English brand the hibiscus tea from Lipton or whatever it doesn't taste hibiscus not like the you know, actual flavor. I have purchased from iHerb like a huge bag with hibiscus flowers and those are really good. But this hibiscus tea was actually really good. It does have the flavor of hibiscus. So what I've been doing in Egypt was that I was drinking this one now and then. But also since I came back from Egypt, I've been obsessed with honey. I have only been in Sweden for like two days. So anyway, so I did uh, mix these things together. I had some honey and hibiscus uh, tea and it actually It doesn't taste like the hibiscus use but It resembles in a very distant uh, way, you know, that use that I have because it was amazing So this is my new favorite combo to drink uh, hibiscus tea and honey together uh, The second tea that I got was a regular green tea with mint. This one is really good in the flavor. I actually think it's hard to find really like flavorable green tea but this one is actually really good and it's a small package uh, but yeah it's really good so that's something I got. Then I also picked up a notebook which has uh, Mask of King Tut 
on the front page here. Uh, and I was reading that potentially this could uh, stripey things here on that side of this face could potentially uh, resemble the bee, like the stripes of a bee. I don't know, potentially, maybe. Uh, but the nice thing about this notebook uh, is that it has these different images of ancient Egyptian uh, pictures. So it has all types of things here. This one is kind of famous. I don't know if this one is real, however. But it has some of these cool ones. So yeah, the whole book is like full of these. And it's a notebook. And they have some really nice, I don't know what they are called, if it's papyrus or something. But it's like papers with these uh, Egyptian uh, sort of uh, motifs. I wanted to buy them, but I didn't end up buying them because I had so much other crap that day. So I was like, no. Uh, but I, I definitely think they would have made nice wall pieces. Uh, one of my friends who I was with, she bought like these wooden, uh, wooden pieces with like some cat motif and there was this, uh, I think it was a pharaoh or something also. They were really cool as well. Uh, she found them next, some guy were selling them next to the pyramid so she got a really good discount because they were like huge uh, wooden pieces but I wasn't, I didn't buy anything there, it was super hot and as I said I did not want to bring a lot of stuff with me back to Sweden because I don't know how long I'm gonna be in Sweden so I don't want to bring a lot of stuff here. Uh, something else that I didn't buy but that I took with me to Egypt uh, is these uh, I call them praying beads, but I don't know what they honestly are. I bought them one time in Dubai, a couple of years ago. I took them with me to Jerusalem, uh, to Sweden, to North Sweden, France, Spain, uh, Qatar, Turkey, uh, the pyramids in Giza. <laughs> so I have taken these like everywhere, wherever I go, when I go to some interesting place and I like putting them on the stuff. So I put these on the pyramids, I took them inside the pyramid, one of the pyramids, I took them, yeah, I took them everywhere in, uh, in the pyramid uh, stuff, you know. So it's just something because I feel like it, you know, keeps the energy and it's just interesting because I have had them in a lot of other places as well. So I really, really, really like these. Uh, another thing I bought was two actually, and this is from... Now, I think this is from the Quran, Quran al Karim. So these are like, um, I think you can hang them in the front of the car uh, or you can keep them indoor or whatever they have. They are like in this gold type of uh, really nice, you know, decoration. So it has some Arabic text. I think uh, it could be some uh, like verse from the Quran. And then it has these small things here that has I'm not gonna read in Arabic, but it does, uh, you know, it, it has a sort of more religious type of text. And then I have another one with another text. And these I'm just gonna keep, um, you know, inside of the place I have. Uh, I wanted to buy, they have like, whoops, they have a lot of these type of things. We went into one shop and they had like so many things and I wanted to buy a lot of stuff. I could definitely, they have like some wall painting, like, whoops, <laughs> they have some wall hanging things with Arabic text, calligraphy. They have like also some paintings. It was a mix of the uh, Quran and then it was like uh, Islamic type of text. Uh, and then it was also ancient Egyptian texts and stuff. So it was an interesting combination. I did find a lot of things there, but I was again like, okay, I'm not going to buy a lot of stuff and take with me. But these were so lightweight, so I did pick up these ones and I'm gonna keep one by the window and one by a painting that I have, basically. Skincare. I did buy, and this is actually something I really, really recommend, this company or brand. And they had such a good prices as well. I potentially, I think they have a web, yeah, they have a web shop. I'm gonna check out the web 
web shop because I was so happy about the products I got from them. They are uh, natural and pure. And look at the packages. Like what? I love the packages. And I will start off by this product. So this is 100% pure argan oil. And it is from this brand called... How am I going to pronounce this? This the camera is going to zoom in. Nefertari, I think it's called. Nefertari, yeah. So it comes with this lead and then it just have this, you open it up and then it's like argan oil. I use, I've been using argan oil on my skin and my skin really seemed to love it. So I'm going to continue with it. I use it as a serum. So I put argan oil, then I put my moisturizer with B5 with me and it works really well. So I really was happy about this product. I even had it on on the wedding day underneath my makeup and it worked well. Um, so yeah, really good. I love the package. I love this paper, brown paper stuff on top. This company was selling, they had like a counter inside one of, I think it was... Arabian Mall. Yes, we went to Arabian Mall. We also went to Egypt Mall. But these um, products I got inside of the uh, Arabian Mall. And the price is like 168 Egyptian pounds, which is equal, I would estimate to be, I'm not sure, but I think it was around 35 to 40. Uh, uh, Deram, like United Arab Emirates Deram, sort of, something in that range, but it was not expensive and I got a lot of products, so highly recommend this brand, they do have a website, it is called nefertari.com, no, sorry, nefertaribodycare.com. Second product that I got, and which was the only other product that I got, is connecting to this whole <laughs> like honey type of thing. Uh, it is a silky body cream with essential oil of honeysuckle and it comes with this cute wooden spoon and then it has this nice you know like natural type of uh, I don't know threading type of material. I don't know what it's called. Uh, ingredients in this one is beeswax. I told you I got a whole like honey bee kind of I sort of totally fell into that when I was after the permit beeswax coca coca butter coca butter is from the uh, chocolate total like you know cocoa stuff and then coconut oil wet germ oil distilled water and essential oil of honeysuckle so whoops Oh wow, okay, so this smells absolutely insane. It smells like, I love the smell, that's all I can say. So uh, what I do is that I use this spoon, I was using this one, um, you know, as a sort of body cream and I am in love with this thing. It is amazing. So. I don't know how I'm gonna describe the smell to you, but I could, yeah, this smell is like, whoa, it is mind blowing. It is completely, it doesn't smell, you know, it smells natural. Like you, I, I don't know how to explain it at all, but it's amazing. It smells expensive, luxurious, but it's not fake. So I don't know how to, smell, how to explain it. It's sophisticated amazing Egypt yeah just check out this brand they have some website you know uh, and it also says when the, when it is expiring so I have like one year you know that this one is uh, uh, sort of valid to use and it feels like butter some form of butter texture and it's so nice uh, they also had chocolate silk cream and I wanted to get it and it was even brown. It looked like some chocolate paste. Didn't buy it. I regret it. Yes. Uh, they also had um, 
lavender cream, which also smelled amazing. I love lavender as well. They had the sherry, they had the strawberry, they had, I think, lemongrass, they had aloe vera, they had a ton of different soaps. Uh, one of the bridesmaids, she bought some soap and the soap smelled absolutely amazing. Also, what else? Yeah, they had like body scrubs, they had all types of things, they had a ton of different uh, oils. Um, so I'm gonna try and find these online because I would like to buy from them again because these were just amazing, amazing products. Also, I bought something else and I don't have them here, but I bought some sesame bars in, uh, in, uh, in Greece when I was in the airport in uh, Athens. I can go and pick them up and show you. So I bought a pack of five yeah, five of these, and these were like huge. Uh, typically sesame seed bars are kind of thin, but these were really thick, and I love sesame seed bars. These are such a good energy kick, and really good to eat together with uh, tea and stuff, so I bought, they came in a pack of five, and they were really inexpensive as well, so I have two left. And also when I came back to Sweden, I bought food and one of the things I picked up was actually pomegranate syrup, which is really amazing. I mean, I had some fatouche and some like, you know, stuffed sushinis and stuff in, um, in Egypt and typically you put some uh, pomegranate syrup. And I mean, often when I'm eating Arabic food, I do put a lot of uh, pomegranate syrup and I love it because it has that acid, um, you know, type of, or like, you know, yeah, acid or lemonish type of flavor, but it's still sweet. Uh, so I did, and it's really healthy in a way as well, because this one contains 70% pomegranate, some water, salt and sugar, and some uh, lemon acid, that's all. Uh, so 70% of this is pomegranate. And as you can imagine, it's hard to actually consume a lot of pomegranates uh, in a freshly format, but you can add it on top of your food, your salad, especially together, you know, by buying one of these. Love it. And then I also, when I came back to Sweden, I did buy, this is the last thing. Let me see if I can pick them up. So I went into a normal supermarket and I was actually looking for some fake flowers and I found these and they were like they were like maybe 17 dirhams, uh, which is not much at all. And I got so many flowers. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like 10 flowers, I'm assuming, uh, for such a low price. Typically, one flower is 17 dirhams, you know? So, yeah, this was really good. I mean, it's not the best quality, I'm assuming, but they do the work, you know, they look nice. And uh, it is peons, I think so. This actually looks a lot like my <laughs> friend's uh, uh, bride's uh, bouquet of flowers. She had some peons, I think. I think, you know, at least some of the flowers and it was peon. So, yeah, I love it. Very nice. Uh, and that is actually everything that I bought in Egypt. Obviously, I bought food. I did not buy any clothes. They have a lot of, you know, places to go and shop at and but I didn't have the intention to buy a lot of stuff. They had a lot of scarf places. There was so many different clothing shops and things. I could definitely have purchased more. Uh, one thing I will do is that I'm definitely going to check out this Nefertari uh, body care again uh, and try and see if they do delivery uh, if I order online because I do really like their 
body cream. I would like to try the one with co uh, chocolate. Uh, I would like to try some of the other products and also the oils were really good. So yeah, so very happy about those things. And as well with the other random stuff that I got, as well, especially with the honey, which I didn't buy in Egypt, I bought it in Sweden, but I don't know. I totally, I've been doing a face mask with honey, which is another thing you can do with honey instead of just consuming it like on food. Uh, but I'm definitely going to see if I can find some recipes uh, like with Arabic sweets and stuff and add a lot of honey. Because I don't know, I just have completely gotten obsessed with honey since I came out of the pyramid. So that's what I, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna end here and yeah.